Good evening, guys. I just got back here and we're gonna, I got the health pick, we're gonna pick his hooves and do some of the treatment and stuff for his leg. As you can see from where the vet was here earlier and gave him that shot, the swelling is down a bit up here um, in more of his leg part. The swelling is down a lot, still a little swollen around the ankle area, but it's definitely looking better. Here she comes. Oh, she's on the phone. <laughs> Tess is just asking how ninjas. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> His back hoof is getting a little better. Um, when we would pick it before, he would have just little sensitive spots and he would kind of try and pull away from you. But when I just picked it, he seems to be doing a lot better. But he is on pain medicine right now too, so that might have something to do with it. The one treatment, I don't know if you guys can see me okay or not. Treatment she said to cold hose, um, like 10 or 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, twice a day. Um, so I'm just out here with the cold hose, hosing his leg down. He doesn't seem to care. Look, burn. Burn. Burners. Burners. <laughs> Tessa's been kind of under the weather, so she's <laughs> sipping on some ginger ale. Uh, but we, I'm just trying to let him sit here and get his leg kind of warmed back up, I guess, before I do the warm salt water soak. Um, I don't want to send him in a shock from a cold foot to a warm foot, so we've got this handy dandy little boot here. It's a soaker boot. Um, you're gonna put the Epsom salt in there and warm water, and then you strap it all around his leg and let him soak for like 20 minutes. Just like that. And then, so his foot is soaking in the salt water, which will help draw that infection, like any more infection if there's anything else in there. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> Look, Dan, he's down there trying to fix the gator and he's just laughing at her. <laughs> laughing. So pretty much what I do is you get these puppy pads that are just like, it's a puppy pee pad and some duct tape. So we just leave that on for 10 minutes-ish. He has been a very good boy. Get some treats. He's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ready for the next one? What next one? Next plant. No. Briley, you gonna help me tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah! I like having helpers. <laughs> this is Briley. This is Tessa and Dan's daughter. How old are you, Briley? Four. Four. Uh -huh. Do you love horsies? Uh-huh. Yeah, she's grown up as a barn girl. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite horsey? Um, all of them. All of them? That's special. I made it back home. Are you asleep? You're not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I just washed my hands. You missed it, man. I was doing the dishes. Amanda's here. I earned a dollar. <laughs> I earned a dollar. I was doing the dishes, right? Hey. And Amanda pulls out apple cider vinegar. Yeah. She's like, I dare you to take a teaspoon of this. I grab it up. I'm like, Psh. shake it. Pop it open. And then I swallow it. And then I, and, and when I take it away from my lips, this like string of something. 
came out with it, and then I look in there, and it was all chunky. Yeah, like, you're gonna shake it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have saved that for for our viewers to see. Hey, I Eliza. I know. How is Ninja? He's good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I got there, and I already told them. Veronica's really good with her horse. Yeah. They seen it. But he let me cold hose him, dried him off, soaked him. He's getting used to the foot soaker boot, so. I went to Radio Shack earlier, I didn't mention. Oh, yeah. I went to Radio Shack earlier and I got some supplies. And me and the boys are about to do a cool experiment. You got 30 minutes before bedtime. Okay, guys, I hope you're ready to learn because today we're going to learn a little bit more science. <gasps> Particularly electronics and eventually in a future video I'm going to teach the kids how to make their own flashlights just like this right so and a lot of modern flashlights right these are LEDs you see the the little bulbs in there those yeah. are LEDs but what I wanted to show you guys was how to build a simple circuit to power an LED light and eventually we'll use that knowledge to create our own flashlights. What? So this is how we'll build the circuitry, but in the future, we'll use a 3D printer to print the actual casing, uh, the housing and stuff. And we'll have to use springs and wires, but we'll get it to figure, we'll figure that out. We're starting with a power pack, right? And this power pack has a, uh, like a nine volt jacket here with some leads coming off of it. Red is positive, black is negative. Okay, and we could do this just by touching the wires together, but it's a lot easier using, uh, this is like a breadboard. These have like uh, metal plates inside that connect together and you gotta keep the rows in line. But anyway, a circuit is the flow of electricity from one point to the other to complete a circuit. And you can create very intricate and detailed circuits by adding different steps in between the flow of the current, right? So really all, all we want to do is turn on a light bulb. So what we need to do first is connect our power to it. And so this is the positive side. We're going to just pop that right inside there. And this is the negative side over here. This is a 2.2 kilo ohm half watt resistor. It's three red bands and one gold band. We're gonna add that, it doesn't matter what side you put in first, but we're gonna skip this middle part because we just wanna reach over here. And we'll just plug that in. Pew, pew, pew. This LED has two little ends on it. One of the ends is shorter, okay? The shortest end is the negative side. So you wanna keep the negative side, the short side, on the negative side, right? <coughs> so we're gonna plug that in anywhere on this has that negative polarity and I keep it down low just so we can so it'll fit properly and then we plug that right in the same row you see it lit up yeah my gosh. right see that's off and then we plug it in see what happens when we went one row above where our resistor is plugged in doesn't work, does it? So what we do is we take it and we plug it in the same line. Boom! And there it lit up. I want to show you another step. So this lights up since it's all connected. We don't have a way to turn it on and off without taking it out, right? We can do something really cool and that's add a little switch in between it right beside our resistor and the other side we'll plug in right over here good okay. take our negative side plug it in over there and plug that guy in right beside our switch you see how it connects that circuit watch what happens when I push the, you push the button Oh my gosh. Pretty cool, huh? You gotta hold it though. 
It's really hard for the camera to see. Right, this is called a mo You can leave it there, leave it there. This is called a momentary switch. So it only activates when you're pressing it. Mommy, stop so beep, beep, beep. We can use this concept to create a flashlight. But I also wanted to show you guys something really cool, which is this guy. This is an infrared LED, and let me just hook it up for you real quick. All right, so what I want you to do is hold this like this. Okay, don't let the battery pack fall out. And I want you to go over to that uh, thing there, and I want you to shine that diode all over right by that mirror, okay? Yep. Now watch when the camera switches when the camera switches over to infrared. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> Liza can't see. Okay, there it goes. It switched over to infrared. Now look at Carson right now. Move the light around. Liza says I can't see. Now it looks like Carson's holding a flashlight, but when we look over at Carson. It's pitch black. How cool is that, dudes? That's pretty neat. What do you think, dude? Can you see my trophies? Uh. No. Oh, my Kinda? What are you messing with it? No. Whoa, what was that? So isn't that cool, right? A nice little experiment in electronics. I want to teach the boys how to make their own flashlights, not only using the circuitry, but using uh, a 3D printer as well. So it's gonna be real fun when we actually get to making that, but this is kind of like the, I guess the prerequisite course before you get into making a full-on flashlight. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah? I can high. A baby so made so it can build so pays the bees. Son. That's toddler language. Guys, the toddlers. Yeah. Coming here and she's reading her own bedtime story. It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> And a good morning. <laughs> Who is Uck. that? Uck. What is that? A mess. You know, one of those moments if you stay up late and study hard. You like fall asleep with your laptop in your lap. That's what they're made for. Pretty sure. So we're starting off with some coffee. Gotta get the kids off. Liza's going to the babysitter today. I think we might have some actual not dark gray cloudy day so i might be able to get a review done today i'm pretty excited because i've been dying for the weather to break and i think today might be the day so i'm pretty stoked okay friends so the family is prepared for their day we're all getting ready and we're gonna smash it today veronica's going to work Liza's going to babysitter kids are at school and i have plans to film today so look forward to tomorrow's video Sorry, today's is kind of scatterbrained, but thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you right back here. Wow. <laughs>